From the political sphere to the judiciary did all who knew Pachas Idehe converge at his Jemila Palacha home to celebrate a life who has spent. Family members took turns to appreciate their father in a dance to the admiration of guests. The tributes from people telling us about things we didn't even know about our father. So that was very touching and um, good for us to hear. The events have gone to plan. You know, uh, by and large, it's gone to plan how we wanted it. I realized it was a legend after his demise. Yeah, so. From the good words and all that, I never knew that my dad was well respected and I'm proud to be his son. A man of personality, a man of wisdom, a man of knowledge. With mad watering dishes and music to spice the day, guests were caught in the euphoria of the celebration. He was a great man, very great, a man who made uh, Tremendous impact in life, in his profession, in politics. I hope you also know that he has uh, lived a very good life. My advice to the family actually just for them to be together, you know, and uh, it enhance the good name you know, he has uh, you know, put behind. You'll be greatly missed. He has done his past, his part, he has played his role for humanity. He has left a legacy. Earlier, a wake-up mass was held in honor of the late luminary icon. Death will come to us individually one day. It is necessary end that all of us must experience. But we cannot share that experience with another person. Late Pachas Idehe was a one-time president of both the Nigeria and African Bar Associations an alumnus of the famous King's College, London, from where he received his law degree. He had many public offices and was a gubernatorial candidate of the Nigerian People's Party, MPP, for Bender State during the 1979 general elections. Aged 84, he survived by wives, 10 children and grandchildren, among whom is barrister Mrs. Iroro Bello Osage, Late Pachas Idehe is also an in-law to the former Director General of NTA, Dr. Tony Iradia. In Benin, Elizabeth Omoko, NTA News.